Going on boys, welcome to the video. Now today, I'm gonna to be taking you through everything I got as a sponsor athlete from Jim Roos. And this is the bag I got here. This is all the shit that I got in there. So we got quite a bit of clothes to go through, but before we get into that, I'm fucking hungry. So we're gonna cook some breakfast, get ready for the gym, and then I'll take you through the uh, the little bit of the gym roos hole. So there's two things we need to have in the morning that make sure you set us up for a successful day. Now the first step that is absolutely crucial to having a good day is having yourself some black balls all up and around your mouth. Now, you can have whatever type of black balls you want. I don't discriminate, but for me, I like the next big balls, so we're gonna be rocking with that. Now guys, remember, if we wanna see the best results, we always have to be tracking our food. People will say, oh, fucking, takes too much fucking effort. If you're that fucking lazy, then you don't deserve the fucking results in the first place. Like, I'm, I'm gonna show you a side-by-side -side comparison of how little effort it takes to actually track your food. A lot of you people, just one fucking excuses. And think about it, when you're tracking your food, simply just a tool for measurement. So if you're a tradesman or if you're an engineer, you wouldn't go to class or you wouldn't go to work without a fucking tape measure. Imagine trying to build a house and you're just trying to eyeball everything. That bitch is gonna come down faster than me after a three day festival. We wanna remove this negative connotation around tracking. It's not a fucking bad thing, it's just a tool for measurement. Now, have a look at the speed comparison. Bam. 104 grams, I know exactly what I'm putting into my body. Now let's do the same thing without tracking our calories. I have no fucking clue how many grams I just put into that. How am I gonna know if I'm in a calorie deficit or if I'm a calorie surplus if I do that with every single one of my meals and all of them are just mis miscounted? No wonder you're not seeing any fucking results. And secondly, one of the other things that are absolutely essential to set you up for a good day, there's some nice, white, gooey, sticky substance. Those two things paired together set you up for the best day ever. All right, all gauge to decide. For breakfast, we have eggs and we have protein cereal. So you can use whatever protein powder you want. I use um, genetics. Use whatever you want, as long as say lean protein powder, you're fucking fine. As long as that bitch has protein in it, you'll be good. All right, so I physically cannot eat without watching a YouTube video, so I'll see you guys for the uh, Jim Roos try and hold. All right, so I'm gonna take you through a little rundown of uh, everything that I got in my monthly package from Jim Roos. So first of all, we got some Roos socks. I, uh, these need to be in the wash because I won for like three days straight. Next up, we have the OG Jim Roos shorts in the red color. Not sure how I feel about red. Um, red's not really my color, especially for shorts. A little bit too, a little bit too bright for me. I'm, I'm a little bit more uh, black, white, or nothing. Then, um, next up, we got another classic pair, which is the grey. These look fucking wicked. I really like the grey. These are going to go good for leg day. A um, little bit more on the neutral side, which is more my, my colour. Um, and then we're going to get into the singlet. So, so we have one of the strings here. It's got the logo on the front. Then if you turn around, it's got the logo that goes down the back. This string, These strings are fucking awesome. They, um... I don't know if it's just me, but they wrap around the lats perfectly. Like when you put them on, they they, they really wrap around your lats and they, it, it almost makes your lats look bigger. So I am a big fan of these ones. And again, in the um, in the red color, got the logo on the front with the uh, logo at the back as well. Again, the, the red singlets I fucking love, um, but bright bottoms, not really a fan of, I can't lie. But then what was that? Oh yeah, and then last one, I got this, which is the normal Erupt T. So it's got the logo on the front and then the logo down the back like the strings did, but it's just an oversized fit. So that's everything I got in my monthly package. I had a few questions about how you can get sponsored by a brand and really comes down to literally just brand awareness. How many eyes can you bring to a brand? Now, when I first got signed with Jim Roos, that was back in 2021 when I was doing my bodybuilding comp. So when I was going through a prep, you are going to naturally have a lot more eyes on you. And I kind of utilized that and I started buying a lot of this stuff and I was pretty much like every single day, going to the gym, posting about the prep, posting about me being in gym roos, all the type of stuff. And then over time, you bring more awareness to the brand and then hopefully that brand will reach out to you and say, hey, do you want to work with us? Because at the end of the day, it doesn't matter how many followers you have or anything like that, if you can't bring awareness to a brand, you know what I mean? So that's why you can see some smaller creators, they have, you know, sponsorships and then other, you know, bigger creators that have a lot of following, but they can't bring that awareness because a lot of the time people do shit just to get views just to get like but that doesn't actually convert into a real audience that knows you likes you or trusts you so instead of just sitting there posting um audios about someone else's voice or text on the screen actually talk to the camera connect with the audience show them your lifestyle show them your your inputs on things your thoughts get them to know you like you and trust you and then therefore you know they're going to use your code and they're going to bring a, a awareness to the brand that you're trying to support and then that is how you can actually 
you build up a sponsorship. So it's not about, you know, how many followers, likes that they have. It's about how much, again, how much awareness can you bring to a brand? brand. That is the only thing brands look for when they're looking for sponsoring athletes. We're going to be hitting chest day today. So we're going to be mainly focusing on our shoulders now since uh, the chest is developing pretty good, but we really want the shoulders to get bigger. So we're going to, you know, start off with shoulders first and then head into more chest and triceps later on. But um, yeah, fucking excited. Chest day, got some food in me. We're fucking ready to go, baby. I thought I was missing one as well. So this is actually the last item. So this is just a um, gym ridge drop tank. Just normal drop tank, logo on the front, nothing on the back. This one is fucking goaded for charms days, shoulders and arms. You just chuck, chuck this bad boy on, get a mass shoulder and arm pump, and it looks fucking devious. So that's the Jimmy's haul. That's everything that they sent out for the month. If you do want to cop any of these items, you can use code Kyle, K-I-E-L, for 10% off checkout. We got chest to train. We got some fucking titties to slam. Let's do this shit. Alright, so we made it to the gym. Now, without fucking around, I'm just gonna quickly take you through what we have for the agenda, and then get right into it. We're not here to fuck spiders. So we have two chest movements, we have three shoulder movements, and then two tricep movements. As I said, let's get right the fuck into this shit. Now remember guys, when we're doing chest exercises like this, especially ones that converge, which means it starts from point A out and point B comes inward, um, we really want to follow that motion, that movement pattern. We don't want to resist it, we don't want to fight against it. So some cues I like to do when I'm training chest, when I come down, think about doing you know, any, any type of row you do, key row, bar row, breathing about getting a lot of that thoracic extension, really trying to push your elbow behind your back, get that stretch as much as you can. And as you're coming forward, think about like coming in a curvy motion and really trying to touch your biceps together. You're not trying to touch your hands together. What we're trying to do is work the chest and that's bringing your tumor across the body. That's not too fucking scientific. That's the main function of the chest. That's what we want to do when we train it. We want to lengthen it and shorten that motion under tension. And that comes from coming out wide, coming in very tight. Alright, time to take this off. I'm cover. Hey boys, that's the whole workout done. Just two hearts of everything. We still need to enjoy intensity time. And we had this bitch. All right, so we're home now. Finished the gym session. Had my chicken rice veggies for my post-workout meal, getting them calories and carbs in. But um, I, wanna, I wanna talk about something real quick. It's about goal setting. And this is a mistake that I made in the past. And I think I can help people out through my experience. So with goal setting, um, the biggest reason people don't achieve their goals is because they set out the plan, but they don't have a plan to execute it. And a goal without a plan is just a fucking wish. And where to dream go to lay, they fucking go to the pillow they stay there. So if you, if you really want to achieve something, you can't just write a goal down and expect it to fucking happen. Now I'm going to be completely honest and vulnerable right now. I set out a goal in 2021, um, which was to, you know, hit 50k uh, TikTok or 10,000 on Instagram. And that's all I did with it. You know, I, I just wrote it down. I was like, yeah, that's a goal of mine, but I didn't fucking do anything to make that happen. You know what I mean? Like I didn't reverse engineer or anything. I didn't set mini goals along the way. I didn't have deadlines. I simply just wrote it down. And I thought that was going to be enough. And this is where a lot of people go wrong and I, I can't stress to you enough how how much time can be wasted if you just believe on this false hope that something's going to happen. You know, I'm 26 now. I did that when I was 20, 22 or 23. That's like three to four years almost wasted because I didn't 
set out a plan of how I'm going to attack my goals. Now, you can do this however you want. Whatever helps you stay consistent to staying on track with your goals, that's what you need to do. That's just not how fucking, that's just not how life works. You can't just sit around and wait for something to happen. You have to be the one to take the steps towards your goals because no one's going to fucking do it for you. The reason why you haven't achieved your goals is because of you and nothing but you. The sooner you realize that, the sooner you can actually actively work on yourself to get better. Anyway, so that is the video. I hope you guys copped a little bit of wisdom there. Hope you enjoyed the workout. I mean, shit, if you liked the video, you can like it, you subscribe it. I don't really care what we do. You can fucking slap me cock on the screen for all I care. If you want to hear anything from Jim Roos, again, code card 10% off. Um, see you guys in the next video.